Kickstarter YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique, where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every weekday at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please be sure to smash the subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers and uh, perhaps click on the Patreon button as I'm currently a stay-at-home dad. But right now, I'm very excited to be checking out Rat Queen's to the Slaughter, which is currently the sixth most popular projects on all of tabletop games. Sisters, Warriors, Queens, Friends to the Very End, Save Palisade from dot dot dot. So I immediately, I hate this, I hate this main image. I really do. It, it tells me absolutely nothing about the game. It doesn't tell me the player count. It doesn't tell me what kind of game it is, uh, the time length. Like, uh, the, the main image, it's like, okay, I see, what are these, these, um... It's like a board with numbers, and she's reading a book. She's so bored at the table, she's reading a book. Everyone's drinking and yelling. I don't know what the hell's going on here. This is a terrible image. Like Now, I know, I imagine it's going to look better when we zoom in there. Hey, Noah. Uh, but, but but right now, it's like, uh, I don't know nothing about this, uh, what's going on. Now, that being said, I'm wondering if Rat Queens is potentially some sort of uh, IP that I don't know about. Because that could potentially explain why well, this has already raised $164,000. That's big. It's also from Deep Water games who made uh, one of the best roll and write games of all time welcome to if you're not tried out that game highly suggest it is oh it's so stinking good my favorite roll and write Ooh, it's close between that and cartographers but very very good uh so what is this save palisade from destruction in this cooperative board game oh and so now i know it's a cooperative board game i feel like perhaps you would might want to lead with that like i feel like that's a little bit more relevant than sisters warriors queens friends to the very end save palisade uh, but, but maybe Palisade is something big that I don't know about. Uh, so 1,354 backers as always. And, and that, that partially explains to me why this is doing so well immediately, because this is a pre-existing company. So the, uh, the, can you do it is going to be probably a pretty good check mark here. But as always, when I go into the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. What? I, I didn't hear that. I gotta go back. Was that just me? Again. No, I didn't hear a word of that. Uh, subtitles, always great. Ooh, minis. A lot of stuff on the cards. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what am I watching? Uh, Hannah, what's that? Oh, sweet baby Betty. So these are different the characters. Wall shattering. We must have knocked it down by playing our own board game. What do we do? What? <laughs> Embrace the chaos. We deserve the right to play Rat Queens to the slaughter just like anybody else. I love this game. Okay, so this is a pre-existing IP. This makes so much more sense now. All right. Forget the consequences. I just want to play. Who could blame us? After all, we're gearing up for an epic adventure in Rat Queens. To the slaughter. You heard that right. We're getting our very own... <laughs> no, now, normally, you know, I, I get zooming in on minis, and I see why they're zooming in on the minis, because I'm getting that, okay, we're going to have ourselves a really good sense of humor in this game. And I got a little bit of that from the video, and I'm even starting to see it right here on just you focusing on this one mini. So I think this is a great shot right here, and it makes me way more interested in the game. Uh, <laughs> that's, like, I've never seen a mini like that. I love it. I love it. Okay. Board game. You can totally join us in a cooperative monster slaying. Slow down on the cards. I want to see what these cards do. There's so many cards, but you're going so fast. Battling quest to save Palisade. New and old gamers alike will love how easy it is to learn. Now, are these like really big minis? Uh, okay. And I like how they're saying you'll love how easy it is for us to learn while she's appearingly to looking at like a giant book right here. And everyone else is just screaming at each other. That's not what the rule booklet means! They miss you! No, I'm telling you, this, this, the text of the card supersedes the rule booklet normally, but not in this exception. Like, I, like, I feel like they're just screaming about a rule right now. Uh, but anywho. <laughs> Challenging it is to master. So grab some friends or set out on a solo quest with the baddest battle maidens of all awesome. time. Awesome. Oh, don't forget the most important part. Your friendship with the other queens is the only way to ensure victory. 
massacring monsters for money to upgrade our abilities is great and all, but calling on allies for help and unleashing powerful what? show-stopping combos with your best friends, that's where the real magic's at. Whoa, hey, look at all that Okay, so that's a really cool element that I don't I don't really think I've seen in too many games. At least me personally. Maybe it's more prevalent in like heavier minis games, which I don't normally get into. Uh but that I re that really excites me and I like how they kind of they made sense thematically, like uh while at the same time explaining the game element here. I'm a big fan of this video. Sweet loot. We are looking good, my queens. Check it out. They even made statues of us. Those are called minis, Betty. But I'm already mini-sized. Cringe. <laughs> okay. All right, nerds, enough of the chit-chat. Let me spell this out for everyone watching. But I'm laughing. Now. You're going to want to pledge now for tons of exclusive content, promos, and expansions. Did someone say expansions? Okay, so I do like this here. Uh, the, the, the do I want it, they're talking to me about... Uh, the different unlock stretch goals, all that sort of stuff. I like the fact they're covering it in the video, and I think this is a really well done video so far. gals might be where it all started. Every boss in Palisade knows the battle ends when I come a swinging. It's true. Nothing knocks them out like Braga. They'll all be shaking in their boots when my expansion hits the table. Okay. The ability to play as yours truly should be tempting enough, but adding more story and bosses to your base game ain't something to complain about either. From okay. the first sip to the last drop. Sisters. Warriors. Queens. Friends to the very end. Uh, it feels so good to have the whole squad back in action. Okay. Now, let me play as Hannah this time. So that's why they use that slogan there. Rat Queens, I'm going to guess, pre-existing thing. And that's like one of the big... Okay, yeah, it's okay. So this makes so much more sense. And I got to give them a huge kudos right here because there is a very thin line to straddle when you are trying to appeal to who's at the freaking door. No, you can't be at the door. Luke, don't answer the door. What is okay? <laughs> okay, I, I apologize. <laughs> Woo! Nobody's ever rang the door during one of these before. Hopefully, it's just a package. Anywho, um,. Oh my gosh, it's a very thin line to straddle when you are talking about appealing to a pre-existing fan base and also trying to appeal to the people who have no clue what Rat Queens is. And I feel like they did a really great job right there. And now I kind of understand why they had to do Sisters, Friends to the very end, but I still think Cooperative, you know, uh, be a little bit more useful there. Uh, but anywho, I felt like that was a really solid video. Very, very excited. Uh, so do I want it? Is it yes? Can you do it? We click right here. We see Deep Water Games. Ooh, ooh, that scares me a little bit. No collaborators, because Backer Kid ain't helping you with a dang thing when it comes to the updates and the comments. Uh, so that makes me worry. Always a little bit more concerned on the customer service. Uh, not saying that that's a, that's a nail in the coffin, but, you know, if this thing blows up and you, you got yourself thousands and thousands of people commenting, uh, it's really hard to keep track of with just one person. All right, so we got Fantastic Factories, which is a great game. Uh, Sovereign Skies, Quick Start, Welcome to the Second Printing, which is amazing. So let's see how many games they currently have out pending. I don't think this one is out, and I don't think this one is out. But let's just double check these. All right, color matching issue and making things right. I have such words here, and we'll get to the straight. We discovered a mistake that the factory had made. Okay, so that, that also gets me excited as well, because that's, that's, very up, that's not a conversation you want to have with your people and they're doing it they're being upfront about it and uh that's probably why you didn't know about it you know because if they would have handled that poorly it'd be like all over reddit and twitter and it's like oh look how these crappy they're handling this they lied about the factory blah 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 and that's why it's so great to be transparent with things like that get back down to earth with the rat queens a fantastic new project from deep water games international fulfillment so yeah this one's out boom we're good uh excellent Excellent. So can you do it? Huge old check mark. Do I want it? Huge old check mark. Hopefully we don't beat around the bush. We get straight down to the price. One to four players. Ages 14 plus 45 to 60 minutes. Uh, okay. Who are the Rat Queens? Cool. I can't wait for everyone to get their hands on the game. It's fantastic. And it rings true to the tone and chaos from the comic series. Okay. So that's a great quote, especially if you are a fan of the game, uh, of, of the original series. This isn't just an awesome Rat Queens game. This is an awesome game. That right there is... I don't know who Comic Burrito is, but that that's a that's the quote I want to see. You know, because there's a big difference between being a good, you know, X, you know, a bit good IP game and being, you know, just a good game. I feel like uh, let me know if I, I feel like we all get that. An interesting mix of mechanics, one of the most unique end game boss systems I've ever heard of. 
Rat Queens puts a true emphasis on cooperative play. These friendship powers are the coolest thing I've seen in a co-op game. I, wow, this is like the first time that I have not had an issue with any of these quotes. I normally am so damn rough on quotes. These are all solid quotes. Whoever did the video and whoever did the quotes, damn it. I, I want to know because I like to recommend people, you know, and it's, wow, this is spectacular. Uh, it was a great and unique cooperative puzzle with its movement and deck building element. And, oh, I didn't know there was deck building. Now, as a deck building fan, I'm excited. So that's a great quote. Uh, unique cooperative puzzle with its movement and deck building element. Like it. Rat Queens brings a lot of character to the table and isn't afraid to have fun. And we really love the emphasis the game puts on teamwork and friendship it's a blast. Okay, don't like that quote. Um, but but then again, I think it's just because all these other quotes are so good. But look, I'm really going to break that. Rat Queens brings a lot of character to the table and isn't afraid to have fun. Isn't afraid to have fun. I don't know what the hell that means. Um, well, I know what it means, but like, aren't, isn't that the whole point of games is to be fun? <laughs> like, I get the first part. Like, we're saying Rat Queens, y you like the comics, boom, it's going to do its due diligence. Uh, maybe they're trying, I don't know. And we really love the emphasis the game puts on teamwork and friendship. Uh, so the teamwork part, yes, I, yeah, I think it's just the other quotes were so much better than that one. I don't think that's necessarily a terrible quote, even though the, uh, yeah, I, every, every game's having fun, right? Rat Queens, get ready for battle. I just want the price. That's all I want. You did so well on everything else. Do I want it? Can you do it? Just bam, get down to the price. Forge friendships and find your family as you take on the role of Rat Queens. Choose from four different Rat Queens or five with the Braga expansion, each with their own asymmetrical and unique play style. Ooh, that gets me excited. In order to save Palisade from total destruction, co-op adventure, uh, Rat Queens to slaughter, let's you defend Palisade. Yeah, redundancies, massacre monsters power up your queen with the new abilities defend your home yada 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 focus more on that mini we got more minis there's the duck guy the thing with the stuff the thing from the first step to the last drop i just want the price overview is this a gameplay no don't care get get away your video is so good i don't need this i don't need this well i guess i guess let me know what you think about that style video that two three minute quick hitter preview video i've done it before i think they're completely useless that being said if someone's gonna pay me 200 bucks i'll totally make one but it's just eh, I think they're totally useless. But let me know. I want your honest opinion. What do you think about those style of videos? I, gameplay. I've been burned way too many times. We've all been burned way too many times on Kickstarter to just get away with saying, ah, check it out. Here's, you know, what the game's like. No, I feel like we need a gameplay to just make the decision for ourselves, especially if we're splunking down two, three hundred dollars in some instances. What is this? Component stuff? Cool. That's great. Just give me a price. Just give me a price. What's in the box? Awesome. There we go. Base game, $49. Why don't we just slap that right up to the top? Like, why, why can't that be at the top? I feel like that's just so much cleaner. Uh, you did such a great job on the video. Your video is freaking top-notch. And when you have a top-notch video, you have to do less convincing. Now, granted, not everybody goes to the video, but I did the polls. Most people still watch the video first. Uh, six solo modes, command tokens, 40 friendship tokens, 40 colored rat queen miniatures. And here's the other thing. I, I just had kind of a brain fart epiphany kind of thing here. So the people that skip the video... A lot of them I've heard in the comments because I make a lot of these videos and I, I look at every single comment. If you leave a comment, I absolutely check it out. Um, they say they just want to get down to business. They don't want all that fluff. And if that's the kind of person that skips the story, well, then why don't you just get right down to business in the, in the, in the text part of the story? Because if they're already skipping the video because they just want to get down to business, then just get down to business. Wow. I, I feel like that's money. I feel like that was money right there. There's a new clip system. Somebody clip that. I don't know what hell a clip is, but YouTube told me that I should be telling you that you should be clipping things. Not sure what it means, though. Uh, three big badass boards. <laughs> oh, big bad boss boards. They should just add an ass there for funsies. Neon static variant art player boards. What does that mean? Neon static variant. Oh, so variant art. Cool. Uh, so this is the $79. Regularly going to be $100. So I see the value here. And I think $49 for this game, uh, you know, it doesn't look like there's a huge amount of components, but at the end of the day, it... So what is it? 30 coins, 6 solo tokens, 4... So we got cardboard, dice, 4 colored... Yeah, we got the minis. Yeah, we got... We got oh, and 72 ability cards. Okay, so that's why. It looked like there was 4 cards. Yeah, I'd say, but plus it's only it's $49. It's less than the $60 MSRP, so I don't have any issues with this. So the, the how much is it, I think, is a solid price. I would honestly put that up at that main image. You know, I think... I, just somewhere on there would be great. Uh, Battlemate, $79. Everything in the base game plus the Braga expansion. All stretch goals. Wait, we don't get the stretch goals with the $49 one? Ew, ick. Ickies. 
Okay. Uh, all mini expansions. Okay, so this is clearly what they want you to do. Why, why do we even, why even beat around the bush with that? Just put that. Well, I guess, you know, I guess there are levels to this, especially with this type of Kickstarter, where you got to realize a lot of the people that might support this might know they're never going to play this board game. They're like, no, I just want to support the cause. And if you give them the cheaper way to support the cause, I think they might do that. Uh, because I think I think a lot of people, especially on Kickstarter, do that from time to time. Because I've seen people do that. It's like, oh, yeah, I got this. And I was like, why'd you get this? And it's like, well, I just want to support them. And I was like, oh, I get that. Um, so I get having both. I still think the $49 one's not going to be that popular. But let me check. It is 66 as opposed to 302 All right. Uh, wait, no, this isn't. Yeah, okay. But there's 139 Ooh, what's that? Everything the base game plus the Bragas. Oh, so here we go. And they made that nice and clean. Wait, no, they didn't. Never mind. Yeah, they did. I think that's clean enough. Uh, Ultimate Rat Queen. Everything the base game and Battle Mavis Plus. Evil Hannah expansion. Metal Coins. Unique Player Sleeves. So this is an additional expansion. So that's the big thing here. And Metal Coins. Unique Player Sleeves. Play Mat. Extra Dice Set. So everything else here. And I hate when Kickstarter companies do this. Let me know. I'm going to create a poll on this one. I'm actually going to write it down. I actually could technically do it on this right now. But it's like I, I need mods. My brain doesn't work that way. Uh, but what do you think about when they make you pay the extra money to get the something that's physical to the game as opposed to just like cosmetic i forgot to write it down uh what let me know what you think about that in the comments down below now hopefully they at least have add-ons so you could still just get the the one pledge level and then get it but it's still I, I just always feel like that's a nice pledge level to have the every single i want to support every single part of this game but i don't want to support you making the game stupidly luxurious or whatever because I, I don't want that i just want the game uh but let me know what you think. I've always wanted to see some form of adaption of Rat Queens in the game form. I can't wait for everyone to get their hands on the game. It's fantastic. And it rings true to the tone and chaos from the comic series to the slaughter. Kurt Weeby's co-creator of Rat Queens. I feel like this quote should be higher than all the other quotes. Because this is, a, this is this, once again, because you're trying to straddle that thin line between appealing to gamers and appealing to this crowd. And I think this right here would go just a huge monumental long way to uh, to the the first bit of it so uh, more, oh and look at this this is spectacular i wish it told me inches because i'm a stupid american but this is great and i'm getting so now i have a very good sense of scale in that's going on wait what's the big bad mini is that is that like a, is that the is that the 131 dollars is that the 139 okay is she's oh yeah so evil hannah is the big bad mini i'm assuming maybe i don't know uh, is there another pledge level? Shopkeep. So this is 866. So this is. So most people just said, fine, we're just going to go splurge. We're going to get the $139. And wow, this is like the fourth or fifth time I've seen this this last month. This is this is now the new way to, 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 to do Kickstarter. It seems like people are just like, all right, I'm not going to go for the game. I want everything. I just want everything. And so this makes me feel like it when I see Kickstarters and they don't, like, that pledge level, like, this pledge level isn't nearly as popular. I feel like that's probably more on the creator themselves. They're doing something to not drive people to this specific whale, is what, you know, I like to call it, um, that other people are doing. And so now i got to kind of look at it from that lens. That's why I love doing this segment. The more I see, the more information that's presented to me, the more different ways to do things, it just makes it so every single episode is just, you never know where the hell it's going to go. Uh, so sometimes we're just snooping up on, <laughs> on scammers. Why back? Not clearly not today, though. Stretch goals and exclusive promos and content that won't be added to the retail game. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would also, you know, I, I always love seeing these higher because I, I always say, once you've funded, it's no longer about funding your game. It's about to making the game as good as humanly possible. Pivoting to that. And I feel like stretch goals is the way to do it. So I'd put these a little bit higher. Uh, get it cheaper. Save anywhere from 20 to 40% on Kickstarter. What, what is that? What? Get it first. Wait, I thought we were talking about stretch goals. Oh, this is why back. I can't read. Wait, where did the stretch goals go? I could have swore I saw stretch goals. Oh, yeah, they said it here. Uh, so where where are those? Where are they? Are they even lower? Had such an awesome time playing Rat Queens to the slaughter with these queens. Thank you, Deepwater Games and Easy Ally. Have no clue who Riley Silverman is, but I'm sure that goes to the people that are more interested uh, invested in the comic. So we got Rat to... So is this just the gameplay, or is this another one of those really expensive previews? Really expensive preview. Okay, Violet is your heavy-hitting tank. She's great at protecting Hannah D. So now we're just kind of going into more in the gameplay. What do I want? I want stretch goals. I want to see the stretch goals. If I'm backing right now, that's what I'm excited about. I don't care about this. I've already seen most of this or know a lot about this. Come on. 
All right, but this is good to get into the gameplay, get into the weeds. I'd still just like to see uh, a video, one video, just somebody playing it. This isn't just an awesome Rat Queen game. This is an awesome game. Getting to play as Rat Queens is super fun. So this is the same quote, but adding on more. Interesting choice. Uh, getting to play as the Rat Queens is super fun, but the game itself is spectacular. It's gorgeous, well-designed, challenging, but fair, and more than enough depth for numerous replays. So I think that's a really solid quote, uh, especially the depth for numerous replays difficulty because i don't think i've really heard anybody else mention the difficulty because for me personally i love a really hard co-op game i would love it if i lose 70 percent of the time in a cooperative game sometimes even higher you know uh that's not everybody's cup of tea but there is a very specific niche that's like oh yeah that's my kind of cooperative game uh click to download the rule booklet always great to have that quest board completed so these are stretch goals i'm assuming and and i and i'm not the biggest fan of not including you know how they got unlocked like the price I always feel like that's a good... Oh, so, wait, wait, so what are these? These are just... Oh, so this was like some sort of uh, social quest thing, I guess? Maybe tell more about it. Tell me. I'd be excited to know more. Like, what have I missed? Like, I just got into this Kickstarter. What have I missed? Make it like something where like, oh, I gotta catch up. Woo, this looks like a Kickstarter I'm gonna have to be, you know, invested in because it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be, woo, it's gonna want me coming back. And that's how you stay on the top of the popularity charts. And I see that right now, but I want, I want to know more about this quest. I want to know about the Kickstarter funded allies, mini expansions, a set of promos, allies to add to each queen's possible upgrade path. So is this something that has already been unlocked? Because if it has, I would totally mention it up there if it's not. It might have already been. So the quest mini expansion, got it. Okay, so 75k. So now I can't see it. Quest introduced a new element to the monster deck instead of just so many cards is it. Uh, but still, mini expansion, awesome. Milton's items, mini expansions. The, so, and I'm sure Milton's items means something uh, to the people who know the game. That's awesome. What is this? Gold foil cover. The box will come with spot finished gold foil. I get that. Most of the time, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I understand this is a whole different ballpark here because this is this is a collector's item. You know, collector's item. If you are a fan of the, the game, this is something that you'll display a little bit more prominently. So I totally get it. That's what I mean by collector's item. Like, physically, collectors would like to have it. Gary, we're honestly not really sure what he does. What is this? Is this, uh... Oh, it's an exclusive promo that definitely does something, at least we think. He comes with the, his own glorious uh, folding standee and probably some other stuff. Okay, that's cool. I, I'm sure that's funny, too. Big Book of Black Magic. Uh, new ability. Oh, wow. And we have switched up uh, how we're doing the stretch goals a little bit here. I like this. Oh, wait. Or, because, yeah, it was 25, 25, and now we're doing 10, 5, 10. So we're getting into uh, some micro stretch goals, which I'm a big fan of micro stretch goals because that means you got to keep coming, checking back, you know, maybe maybe once or twice a week because we're going to be unlocking so much cool stuff. You want to check it out, right? Pull quote, lots of great stuff, big wow, such quote. Pull quote, lots of great stuff, big wow, such quote. I'm going to guess that that is actually left in there to be a humorous thing because I'm, I'm giggling. <laughs> and if not, then someone forgot to put something here. But quite frankly, I think this is funny and I think it should stay if it's not supposed to be there. Uh, the base game is complete. None of the base games, none of the stretch goals will alter the base game content. The base game is complete. None of the stretch goals will alter the base game content. What? Aren't these, aren't these stretch goals... They're going to alter the base game content? Like, what? Isn't that what extra... Isn't that what cards do? <laughs> uh, oh, wait. In an... It, to the ally expansion. Wait. Are these only coming out to certain... No, these are coming in the base game, right? That's weird how they phrase that. Um... Okay, Brock expansion, replayability in a new challenging boss fight. Cool. 25, 25. So you can... Okay, so cool. I can just get everything... Okay, so they, they, at least you can get it in the add-ons if you do want to add it on. But I still am not the biggest fan of that. Monster card sleeve. I'd like to see the zoomed in. That'd be cool, too. Uh, Rat Queen sleeves. Extra dice set. Yeah, like, why is everything so small? Like, zoom that in a little bit. Uh, what are people saying? All I care. Kickstarter gameplay. Gameplay. So there we go. Boom. Awesome. That's what I need to see. Ooh, John. That's awesome. Uh, tutorial playthrough. Excellent. And I was saying that in all seriousness. Uh, man versus Meeple. Let's look at. So that's just, yeah, it's people talking. Uh, rats to the game. Okay, so we got a, a full playthroughs. So that's that's amazing. That's fantastic. That's what I want to see. I'd love to see that a little bit higher, too. An interesting mix of mechanics with one of the most unique endgame boss systems I've ever heard of. Did we already see that quote? Uh, so here we go, and we get to the shipping estimate because it's always buried down below, despite the fact people, and I have run polls on this, want it higher. Put it right up there with the add-ons, right at the end. Why not? It makes so much sense. Uh, okay, shipping prices are currently catastrophically high due to we know. So, well, $12, that's not bad. 
Let's see. Does it have the VAT? However, if the prices don't go down, this is what you can expect to pay for shipping. Awesome. Awesome. So if the prices do go down, then it will be adjusted accordingly. And that's great. The fact that you said that, because not everybody says that. And that's just a nice thing to say. It's like, hey, you know, if it goes down, we're going we're gonna to readjust this. I like that. Uh, we're hoping that wait until back or kit to charge shipping. And I feel like $12, reasonable. Once again, I kind of don't get the size of the game. Okay, so it is, it is a smaller game. Which is to be expected, because I think it was uh, less than MSRP, if I recall correctly. $49.59? No, it was $49. Or $39. It was, it, was one, it was less than MSRP for the retail. So, okay. $12. Yeah, that's reasonable. $22. $14. Ooh, good for you. $22. Yeah, this seems pretty reasonable. Because this would not fit in a flat rate padded shipping envelope, which is generally, you know, kind of where I where I put things. Because a lot of games can fit into that, and a lot of games cannot fit into that. Because I always look at it from that perspective. Because to me, if it's like if you're in the United States of America, the that should be the bottom floor of your cost to ship to the United States of America. Like it's just you do it by hand, and it's just flat. Because I've done that. I literally had a pallet of games delivered to my house. It sat in my in my living room, and I packaged every single one of those games with a medium flat rate padded ship envelope. It took so god dang long, <laughs> but but you know, so so it's like that's what I judge a lot of. So this looks like a rock solid shipping area. No issues with it at all. Clean, concise. Three pledge levels over here. Beautiful. Look how clean that is. Excellent. You make things easy, you get a lot of backers, this is how you do it, this is the back of the rule booklet, whatevs, risk and challenges. Okay, rock solid Kickstarter there. I didn't like the main image, I think the main image is very, very poor. Uh, but yeah, I think some things could be readjusted, but overall, that that is a rock, rock solid shipping, I think, right there. Um, let's check out the FAQ, the updates, the comments, other uh, shipping questions. Why aren't we being charged shipping up front? Okay, uh, why pledge to Kickstarter? Okay. So one thing I'd recommend to Deepwater Games, to go look at Reload from Colossal Games. Handle your FAQs like that. You know, this doesn't look like a bad FAQ section, but I think the way they do it is just the best way to do it, hands down. It makes it so clean to organize. And I've seen some other game companies starting to do it. It's picking up momentum. We keep pounding that drum. All right, uh, pins, new stretch goals, and Gary. So I could tell that these are terrible updates. Just not good updates. And the reason why, two comments, three comments, six comments. And you have... 1300 people a huge chunk of those people have one very specific niche that they clearly love which is why the majority of people are paying for your whale to get all the upgraded fancies and goodies is you need to be talking to those people about rat queens to the slaughter you need to be every single one of these questions every single one of these updates should be ending with a question specifically crafted to whatever the update is or rat queens because it's just two comments now, this is from today, but the last one was three comments, you know? Uh, you can get so much more. We're still not quite clear, and that's, that's super important because that helps tickle that Kickstarter algorithm. Check out the links down below. Not my links, but they're spectacular links that talk all about how you can tickle the Kickstarter algorithms to get yourself higher around the popularity charts and make it so people are much more likely to find you. Uh, you can also make it so people are more likely to find you if you give us more information at the front, maybe on your picture. Uh, just saying. Avocar <laughs> Pro Mora, we also like the first Hannah promo, and you're getting a sneak peek of what's up next. So these, So are these all going to expansions? Is that what's happening? Because that's kind of what it sounded like, but then it kind of didn't sound like that. And now I'm not a big fan of how it's not. It doesn't seem clear to me. And I'm sure someone's going to post it. It's so clear, Bauer. You're so dumb. And it's, yes, leave the comment because that's how you tickle my YouTube algorithms. But I know. I, I skip things all the time and I always apologize for that. Sometimes I'll be staring and I'll be like, why didn't they say this? And it's just right next to my mouth. Uh, so what is this? Uh, so yeah. Thanks you all for the excellent campaign. Just for crushing those stretch goals. Stay marvelous. Oh, I've already backed the highest tier and would like to adjust my pledge to hit some of the extra goals, but I'm not seeing the pins. So this is what I'm talking about. P this is the audience you have. This person's like, I'm giving you all the money you want, but I want to give you more. You don't think they want to chit chat about what is probably one of their favorite comics? You need to end every update with a question about the comic. And there's so many softballs. Boom! We're we're looking into making with the massive success and popularity of this campaign. We're looking into making more future expansions, and we wanted to know from the most ravenous, amazing fan base what are some particular moments from the comic that you would absolutely love to live through with your friends. Bingo, bango, bongo! You've got yourself. Let's make let's make an estimate here. How many? Let me know in the comments below. How many comments do you think 
that would get, especially if you are churning that and you're responding to every single comment and you're making it a fun place to talk. I'd say a hundred minimum, hundred comments minimum. And if I see a hundred comments on an update, do you know how much more likely I am to click on that update myself? Like that's like, that's, that is how we play the game on these updates. So these updates are not good. They're just not because they're not getting people engaged. And you know exactly what everybody's here, what, what they want. You know what they want? Give it to them. Check for pins. 10 more sets available. What is this? Should be unlimited. I think the 10 sets you're seeing is per backer. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, they're adding more stuff. They're like, oh, my gosh. You guys want to give us more money? To the add-on machine we go. And I got no problems with that. Like, that's exactly what you should be doing. Like, you should be like, oh, you want to, you, what the hell is this called? You want a Rat Queen's flag? Here we go, $15. You want a Rat Queen's blanket? You should just be going to some of those sites. You get, like, if you're a, if you're a content creator or if you create uh, a lot of promo items, you'll get these big books in the mail. And they'll, because I've done it a couple times, and, and it'll, it'll just have all the things that you can print your logo and your name on. And it's like a huge catalog. It's amazing. They're really fun to go through. Plus, they give you tons of free samples. I, if you ever want to, if you ever want to look into that, it's something to do. It's fun. Um, but yeah, like you could, you could just start printing out stuff on that. Now, I know they probably want to do the highest quality, but still, like you have people here who are like, I want, take more of my money, take more of my money. Like, it, then take their money. Right here, I owe apologies to some people I replied to comments regarding the pins. I said that it would be the PM and couldn't be added at pledge level. I was wrong and I had no idea. So, so, But yeah, so we got people chit-chatting. I do see you popping up in there. Good. Rock Solid, this just launched, I believe, on Tuesday. But So I would highly recommend some more collaborators, some some repositioning of the page, because this 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 is the kind of project that I think your video is so well done, you could get that crossover appeal. Because I think this looks like a great board game. And, and I know absolutely nothing about Rat Queens to the slaughter. So, totally. Very interesting campaign. So, what's my final grade? I always do the A to the F. Uh, do I want it? Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. How much is it? Yeah. I think it was a solid price. This is an A. I feel like this is an A. I feel like the arrangement is a bit off. So, I'm going to give it an A-. minus. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of how some things are ordered. But those quotes, well, those quotes were so dang good. You know what? I'm going to bump it up to an A. I think this is just a solid A. Rat Queens to the slaughter. I feel so good. I've been giving out Fs and Ds lately. And just to punch through with an A... I love it. Let's keep it going tomorrow as well. But that has been today's Kickstarter Critiques. Rat Queens to the Slaughter. If you enjoy what I'm doing, then keep enjoying what I'm doing. Go out and have yourself an excellent day. Go respond to one person that, that you, you've been putting off responding to. Go do it. I'm going to do it right now. Who am I going to respond to? I'm going to respond to, um, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But go do that and have yourself a great day. And as always, bye-bye. Whoop, whoop, whoop.